What's going on guys? It's your boy CJ. I know it's been a little bit since I've done one of these vlogs and there's a very good reason why I'm doing this. Um, so I just want to explain to everybody why I haven't been live this week. You know, I don't like leaving you guys hanging and I, I, I never, I normally never do. I'm not going to leave you hanging this time. So there's a, there's a couple of reasons why I haven't been live this week. A few reasons. One, first and foremost is because the wife and I, uh, found us a place to live finally. Um, it's a, it's a three bedroom. Well, actually it's a four bedroom. It's got an extra room, but it's a perfect house. It's out in the country. Um, as far as you can look, there's corn fields, tobacco fields, soybean fields. It's out in the country. We've got maybe two neighbors that live around us. Uh, not very close by, but there's neighbors there. So it's out in the boondocks, out in the sticks, out in the country. I love it. That's the first thing that's perfect about it. Secondly, it's pretty much a four bedroom. It's got three main bedrooms inside the house. And then there's another bedroom that goes downstairs, which is going to be um, my office. Sorry about that guys, a notification, uh, which is gonna be my office for the Criminal Justice Studio and CJ Farm Studio. So we're gonna have a brand new studio for Criminal Justice and CJ Farms and Vloggers Paradise, where I can do all my recording, uh, video and edit and all that good stuff. Um, I am planning on fixing the studio up and doing some decorations, uh, you know, um, putting decorations in the room. So with that said, having a new office for well, that's one of the reasons I haven't been live this week. Um, and we've, we've had to take time to go over there and look at the place and check it out. We've had to, you know, sign our, um, our application. We've had to fill our application, our application fee. We're now in the middle of signing the lease and we're going to be getting the place here in the next two weeks, I believe. Uh, whenever the painting's done, we'll be we'll be getting the place. So I think in about two weeks, the painting should be done, and we're going to be able to move our stuff in. Uh, we've been here at my mom and dad's for quite a while. Most of you, I think, know that. For those that don't, well, you know now. We've been here for quite a while, and my mom and dad's been good to us. They've gave us good hospitality. They've always welcomed us here with open arms, and um, just it's been a great time being here with my parents. But, uh, you know, they, they let us move here. Uh, right before our youngest was born back in 2018 uh, because we had fell on some really hard times me and the wife did so my mom and dad was just trying to help us out and now that we're getting on our feet uh, we can uh, we can go out and get our own place it is for it's a place for rent it's not to buy maybe we can I think the landlords from my from my understanding the landlord's a pretty cool guy I'm trying I'm hoping I'm hoping to talk him into rent to own I think that'd be great maybe later on a couple years down the road I can talk him into rent to own uh, but if not, then eventually we'll find a place to buy. Eventually, I would like to have my own our own place built where we can have it built the way we want. But as right now, we found a great place. It's got four bedroom, one and a half bath. These notifications are killing me. It's got a uh, four bedroom, one and a half bath. The half ba bathroom is in the master bedroom, which would be mine and the wife's room. Then over next to the, our room will be um, Chloe and Arizona's room. Arizona, the one we call Ray Ray. And then Jasmine's room will be down the hall. And then my office will be on down further than that. Uh, it's got a beautiful, huge backyard. It's got a beautiful, it's got a nice front yard. Not a huge front yard, but but a nice front yard. Um, it's got a, a huge backyard. We're going to put, we plan on putting horseshoes and cornhole and badminton and, uh, you know, volleyball and stuff like that. Um, so it's it's a perfect place. Like I said, it's out in the country. It's perfect for us. It's going to be perfect for me and the wife and the family. And it's going to be perfect for me to finally have my own personal man cave, my own office. Not only does it have enough room down there in my office to put my game station, but I can put my game station in one corner. In the other corner, I can put a vlogging station where I can actually just do vlogs like this in the corner of my room. It'll look a little more professional. It'll be decorated behind me. I'm going to have soundproof padding up and all that. So speaking of that, guys, I am making a wish list for the... For the, the I don't know if you say a, a house coming party or a home party, whatever you say. I don't know how you say it. Uh, but I am putting up a wish list for my studio stuff. So the things I'm going to need for the studio to decorate it, um, like my soundproof padding, that'll be in the wish list. I will link the wish list uh, in the pinned comments, and I will also link it in the top of the description. So for those who want to donate and help with the studio to decorate or whatever you want to put in there, um, we'll figure out some way to... Either put your name in the studio because you've done that, or I will shout you out in a video. You know what I'm saying? But I will put the link to the wish list in the pinned comments. 
I will also put it in the top of the description. So that's one reason I haven't been live that this week. That's kept us pretty busy. Um, another reason is, uh, what is today? Thursday. So Tuesday night, I was sitting out here on my front porch getting some air, watching some YouTube or watching some movies on Netflix. And um, I felt something. It's going to be a little bit of a story, but I felt something uh, crawling up my pant leg inside my pant leg. Well, I'm a guy with hairy legs. You know, guys with hairy legs, we get that feeling sometimes in our pants like something's crawling on us. It'll just be the hair on our legs, you know. <laughs> but um, I felt something crawling halfway up my leg, and I pulled my pant leg up. I fluffed it, didn't see anything, went back to what I was doing. And then I felt something crawling on my knee on this leg right here. And I, when I did, I smashed it. And when I smashed it, something stung me. I'm assuming it was a honeybee because it left its stinger behind. There's only two types of bees that can leave their stingers behind. That's a honeybee. I believe, and a would be, which is the big, fat, yellow, and black uh, would be. So if I'm mistaken on that, please correct me, but I'm pretty sure that's the only two bees that leave their stingers behind and fly off and die. I know for sure the honeybee is a one sting, one time, one done thing. They sting you and they fly off and die. Well, with that said, it stung me. I, got, I couldn't get my pants off fast enough on the front porch. And keep in mind, guys, I did have shorts underneath my, my not boxers, but like basketball shorts. So I took my pants off. There was the stinger in my leg. I took it out. Um, and it was just a very small, like an itty bitty small sized hook shaped black stinger. If that helps anybody out there um, with maybe what kind of bee you can figure out it was that stung me. I'm pretty sure it was a honeybee. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I thought at that time it was around midnight. I had to get up and go to the house in the morning. I had to be there at five o'clock in the morning. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go to bed and try and get some sleep. Uh, trust me, the sting hurt. It felt like, you know, it felt like somebody taking their knuckle and hit you in the leg. I mean, whatever it was that stung me, them little things were small, but they pack a real good punch. They pack a real good punch. And, uh, there goes an ambulance. Three John, show me in route. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so I got my pants off, got the sting out of my leg, and I turned my pants inside and out i don't know how many times looking for this thing that stung me and i never did find it so i'm assuming it was a bee because when i pulled my pants down i'm assuming he flew off uh and then so i went to bed and laid there and in about 20 minutes my fingers and hands started itching real bad but it, like it was it was so bad i couldn't stand it. it was one of those itches you couldn't get to it was under the skin right i couldn't get to it and it was driving me bonkers and uh, I, I just wanted to share this with you guys. The uh, reason I haven't been live this week is it's been kind of a long week. Um, so I laid there for about two hours in agony with this side effect going on from this, this stinger going in my, in my, into my body and this venom going in my veins. Um, and I laid there till about 2.30, 2.45, and I got up and I said, okay, I'm going to go to the ER because if I go to dialysis, like this is going to drive me crazy. I had to be at dialysis at 5.00. And I'm there from like 5 a.m. until almost 9 o'clock in the morning. So I'd have been there for that long, scratching my hands trying to find the itch. Well, I went to the ER, and they saw me. And I was there at the ER um, from about 2.45 until 4 o'clock, is, which is the time I leave to go to dialysis. And they couldn't give me Benadryl because I'm allergic to it, but they did give me a steroid shot, which helped tremendously. Uh, they gave it to me over here on my left arm. The medicine hurt a little bit, not too bad. Um, but they gave that steroid shot to me, and within 20 minutes, guys, I kid you not, it probably wasn't even 20 minutes, the itching had stopped, and it was so wonderful. And I was just like, oh, my gosh, thank you, Lord, because this is, like, really irritating. I'm highly allergic to bee stings. The main thing I was afraid of is that I, my leg was going to swell up from my knee to my foot, and I was thinking, okay, if it swells up like that, how in the world am I going to get dialysis? How am I going to walk around? How am I going to function in general with a swollen leg like this? Because the only two bees I know of in my life that's ever stung me, I've ever swollen up from, has been a wasp or a yellow jacket. Those are the two bees I get stung by that sting me really good, and they make me swell up. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. The week's just been kind of tough. We've been busy. Um, that's why I was... I think I was only live Monday night, and I think we played... Um, what did we play Monday night, guys? I can't even remember what we played Monday night. Uh, but anyway, I just want to let everybody know what was going on. Uh, that's why I haven't been live this week. Um, and when we start moving, guys, just keep in mind it's going to take me a while to get all my stuff back online, to get internet and 
and to get fired back up and start doing videos again. So I'll make sure there's enough videos for you guys. By the time that I leave here, I'll make sure I have enough videos up for you guys on CJ Farms and Criminal Justice. I can't prom promise anything on Vloggers Paradise um, because I haven't been out to play golf lately. So, um, But with that said, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope everybody's having an amazing day out there. Um, and make sure that, you know, you're staying happy. You're staying in prayer. It's very important to do that. It's very important to stay positive. And, uh, as always guys, stay strong, stand firm, stay in prayer and put God first. Guys and girls, thank you all for your understanding. Thank you for the consistent support here on criminal justice as well as CJ farms. We're almost at 10 K on CJ farms. We're almost at 40 K here on criminal justice. We're almost at hundred subscribers on Florida's paradise. So I'm very thankful for this community. I'm very thankful for all the people out there. I'm very thankful for the people that showed up to my live streams and my videos. I'm so glad you guys still enjoy the content after dealing with me for seven boring years of my life. Uh, I'm so glad you guys still enjoy the content and, and you guys still tune in. I know there's a lot of people out there that I've taught how to mod LSP before. I know a lot of you have went off on your own and even started your own channels and I'm so proud. I just want to tell everybody out there who's done that, who's learned from me, and who's went out and started their own channels who, or just became a successful monitor helping others. I just want to tell you, I'm super proud of you and I'm so glad that I could be your teacher and I hope that I'm still your teacher and your go-to to this day. Um, and to those, to the noobs out here, um, if there's any advice I could give you, like I gave uh, you know some of my older subscribers who uh, have their own channels who can no longer be here because they're on their own channels now, the best advice I can give you is every time you watch one of my videos, watch it from start to finish. You watch every video from start to finish three or four times in a row or as many times as you need to before you have those pathways and that modding material memorized. And I promise you, I can assure you, you will become a professional modder watching this channel here. I promise you guys, I promise you. Just watch the videos from start to finish and don't ever skip anything and you will, you cannot lose. I'm telling you, you will be a great modder. I can teach you how to be a great modder. Um, I can't teach you how to model like I do, but I can teach you how to be a better model than what you are. I promise you that. Ask anybody around the community that's watched me. Ask anybody around that that's watched me, you know, a long time ago and then started their own channel. You know, Jeffrey Gamer, perfect example. I taught him everything he knows about modding. Um, he'll tell you that himself, that, that I was his go-to when he first started modding. Jeffrey Gamer is now at, you know, he's almost at 22K, almost at 22,000 subscribers this guy is. And I feel I feel very blessed and... Um, it, it's an honor to know that I've taught somebody like Jeffrey and so many other people out there who have become successful modders, pro modders in my opinion, and very good modders in my opinion, uh, people that can teach others how to do it. Uh, Jeffrey being, being one of my favorite modders that I've taught out there, uh, who teaches the exact same way that I do, uh, if not better, if not better, cause he does it. Uh, he has his own technique of doing it. You know, it's kind of like me. I learned from Benzo. I took what Benzo did, and I slowed it down a little bit so everybody could understand. Jeffrey took what I did, and he slowed it down even more for everybody else to understand. So if there's anybody out there that I just want to say <clears throat> that you're, you know, you criticize Jeffrey for how slow he goes, please don't do that because he's not doing that for the advanced modders. He's doing that for the beginner modders because there's beginner modders that come to this new community every single day. I've even I had a guy criticizing me the other day on Facebook about how he didn't like me or like the way that I did things. He said I did some unnecessary things and I tried to explain to him in a long comment. I said the reason I do things the way I do is because if I know I teach, if I know that I'm teaching modders how to mod like they're beginners, then everyone can understand. If I'm teaching only advanced modders, then only the advanced are gonna understand and the beginners won't get it. But if I'm teaching it like I'm teaching it to a bunch of kindergartners, or like Jeffrey says, stupid people, you know, then everybody's gonna understand it. And we don't mean that literal that everybody out there is stupid. We just mean that in a way like I teach beginner, I teach you like you're a beginner because you are. And I, I don't care how long you've been doing it, when I record that video, I'm teaching you like you're a beginner because that way I know for a fact that every single person watching my video is going to understand exactly what I'm saying and where we're going with it. That's it, guys. A big shout out to Jeffrey Gamer, who, again, has become a successful model around this community by watching my videos. And I can tell you for a fact that this is a man who has watched literally every single one of my videos, not ever missed a one. Um, he showed me his screen one time of my channel, and all of my channels 
all the lines. You know, when you watch the videos, you have the red line go to the bottom of the video. Every single one of my videos, I'm talking literally every single one of my videos on my channel that he showed me was in red lines, full red lines. That right there, my friends, is dedication. It's not only dedication, but it's loyalty. It's, you know, it's respect. It's love. And that showed me right there. When Jeffrey showed me that, that showed me that he was one of those modders that was willing to learn. And he had the hunger for it. And it shows. It shows because look what he does now. He does all LSPFR stuff. He does a ton of SLRP and all kinds of other games just like I do. So big shout to Jeffrey Gamer out there. One of my, he's my best buddy. It's my brother, man. And um, yeah, he's become a successful modder from watching my channel, guys. And I don't take all the credit because Jeffrey's learned a lot of stuff on his own. There's tough stuff that he's taught me. I don't want to leave that out on Jeffrey. I don't want to leave that out because there's stuff that Jeffrey has taught me. And things that I've learned from from him because he's just become such a great modder. He really has. And to all the other content creators out there who have watched my channel and became content creators yourself, or you're just you've just become a great modder. I just want to let you know I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad that I've been your teacher and that I've been able to teach you how to mod GT5 and LSPFR. With that said, guys, I'm gonna get off my rant now. I'm gonna step off my soapbox, and I just want everybody to know why I wasn't live this week. That was why. Just a couple of things going on. And uh, we should be back on regular schedule next week, guys, uh, starting Monday. But keep in mind, the next week or two, we will, be, we will be in the process of moving because I'll be breaking all my stuff down. And yes, guys, once the studio is done and set up, I will give you all a tour of the new studio. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, as always and again, stay strong, stand firm, stay in prayer, and put God first. I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Have a good one.